there's an elephant that paints, elephant. there's a chimpanzee that paints, there's a dog that paints. Ah. This is the pig. Touch. Paint. Good girl. She's the crowd-pleasing pig who paints for an adoring public and the occasional cheese puff. Paint. I think she's fabulous. Paint. But I'm biased. <laughs> Good girl. Come on, Mouse. Come on, Mouse. They're definitely smarter than your average dog. Edith Reeves and her pig are often seen going for long walks in Olympia. Then they'll rest up before performances. They've been together since the pig was three months old. My son said he was going to name her. I said, OK, think really hard about that. And he came back to me and he says, want to name her School Bus. And I said, I don't really want a pig named School Bus. Can we think of something smaller? And he said, OK, mouse. We call her House Mouse since she lives in the house. One day, Mouse got into Little Morris's finger paints. They can get pretty destructive. After giving her a bath, yes, those are Cheerios, Edith realized this little piggy just might be an artist. And I only use Crayola non-toxic finger paint. They've been at it ever since. Good girl. It has to be her decision. Mouse's paintings have vibrant colors, lots of movement. My son says it looks like an angry Pikachu. And clear impressions of her nose. Usually people like the ones that have snout prints on them. Edith has sometimes added stencils into the mix. But out in public, the best sellers are the ones that involve audience participation. <laughs> she loves the people. She loves the attention. She loves the food. And then I think it's an enrichment activity similar to digging in the mud. Good girl. Just as messy as mud, but much more colorful. No wonder everybody wants a little mousterpiece of their own. Yeah, thank you guys. <laughs>